Hey, good morning. Y'all, I'm up early with it this morning. Like, up early with it. Thought I just, like, <clears throat> grabs a cup of a little bit of, um, this morning air right quick. Mm. Oh, this is my favorite part of the day. I love this part of the day because it's still quiet and people are, you know, just starting to move out for their daily chores and things like that. Their daily responsibilities and it's just not like too, too, too busy yet. And as you can hear the birds chirping. Yeah, I like that. Um, <laughs> oh, Lordy, I was reviewing the video of <laughs> my daughter. She's so silly. That's my eight-year-old, y'all. I have uh, her, and then I have my other daughter. I don't know if y'all went back to the video of me that I posted when I was changing clothes and the, the little, me doing my little model thing or whatever. That is my daughter's boutique in Houston. That's my oldest daughter. I have a 24-year-old. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. And um, all of us, our middle names are Marias. Together we are Thrust Marias. Okay. Yes, indeedy. That's my sweeties. Um, dang. This is cool. I'm going to put my uh, my videos. I'm all in the dirt right now. I was having a moment in the dirt. Like, just everything nature I like. Oh, wow. Just taking this all in real quick. I'm about to upload that one video of, of us at the, um, I was driving. That, that was crazy. It was crazy because I couldn't believe how my eight year my daughter, my baby drives so, like, she drives good. To say that, that she only ate and it was a cart, it was the carts and not the bumper carts. She did good. She only had a couple of little accidents and that, that, to me, that was really good for an eight year old. She was driving fast. I really couldn't keep up with her. But that was cool. I really did enjoy that. It. it wore me out, though. It was pretty warm that day. <laughs> but I had to get out there and do some things with my sweetie Petey. You know how that is. Anybody, parents out there, we get out there and enjoy our children and do things with them. Whether we, like, full, spirited, and ready for it or not, we get out there and then do the damn thing. You know, making the memories. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank God for this opportunity to be able to do this because I hadn't always been able to do these kind of things. I didn't grow up doing, being able to do things and enjoy when I'm be, like riding camels, right? Mama did take me some, I, I rode some ponies. I, I did ride some ponies. I did that. Like a lot of little things like what my daughter able to do, no. Not, I wasn't able to do that. Um, we did travel. My mama was in, I don't know if y'all remember Amway, and it was, in, and they used to like, they used to travel every day. They used to always have these meetings in different places. I remember going to Boston and just, I went to, that's how I first got into traveling was with my mama because she went everywhere where Amway take you around the world. Every meeting, she was there, so. And we we was there. We were, I'm riding by buses, planes, driving. We always was going somewhere. I did to get to do that. That's how traveling got in me. Traveling started in me. And I was amazed. Like, there's so many different people in so many different places. Like, I was always into that. I was always interested in different and how people can be so different, come in so many different shades, how black people could be light-skinned or dark-skinned and mixed. And then I'm down, I was, I grew up in Louisiana, and people really be having you jacked up. You be like, damn, is you white? Is you black? Is you, what is you? They be all of it, all mixed in there, all mixed in. Them people got some secrets in their bloodline. Well, everybody was everywhere. The master, the slave, the, the, the sister, brother, kids, every everything was involved back in them days. So, they bloodline kind of cray cray. But <laughs> for real, she yeah, do the math, do the history. But, um, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh my God, this is nice. See, I like to hear that too. I like to hear the roosters crowing in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What y'all do when y'all get up in the morning? What y'all? What are some of the things that y'all like to do when you first get up in the morning to kind of start your day off? 
share some of that with me. Oh, um, yeah. That's what I like to do. Just, like, start off with, like, stop. Because when I first wake up, I'll be like, I need to do this, 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 my brain will be like, and then I'm like, hey, hold the hell up. I'm about to stop. I'm about to, like, let me just wait. Especially when I'm not on a schedule at this moment. I don't get back on schedule until August. And when that time comes, I worry about that thing. But as of right now, I'm just living and just chilling and just relaxing. So. This is life in Tijuana. Like I say right now, I'm just living uh, everyday, daily life, chilling, regular, regular everyday. I feel safe. I feel good. I feel great waking up here. I'm good. And um, like I said right now, I'm getting established. This is where I want my permanent home and business to be. Yep, I did say that right here in Tijuana. I will be established right here and then from here I will travel on and have other spots and places and um August I have planned for did I say Acapulco or Cancun one of them I'm going down to the other side of Mexico I don't know if it's going to be a drive yet I'm going to try to see it's more than likely it's going to be a drive because of, because of my passport situation right now. I, I don't know if it was stolen or lost. You remember when I, I made that video about my um, bag getting stolen or lost or something? I don't know, know what happened. I don't want to see it was stolen when I don't know for sure. But my passport was in there and I have to redo that. I only have a card, the passport card. Now, if you get the passport card, you're only allowed international um you gotta stay on the ground basically it's only a few places that you can fly to and and mexico ain't one of them and in and out through mexico i won't be able to do that so i'll be on the ground that'll be a while i think it's it might be a two-day drive two two and a half or something where i'm planning on going to but it's all good because the scenery and everything and the people i'm gonna be with it's gonna be real chill so that's gonna be really i like road i love road trips like that I'm not the greatest one to take on a road trip. Like, if you plan on having a party people in the passenger seat, you know, I'm going to party with you for a little bit. But, baby, once that, that, once everything starts soaking in and getting to me as we traveling, baby, that feels so good. And the breeze, I probably got my window down. I'm going to sleep on your ass straight up. Yes, I'm going to sleep. Oh, man, I, was, I just had a thought of, um, I also lost my mother's urn or that was stolen whatever in in that bag along with my passport so my mama she made it to Tijuana it was a little urn too like the little small one because we got the big one at my sister's house so I can get more of her next time I'm put I'm gonna get her ashes and try to see how I can um if it's I'm sure it could still be done to get some jewelry pieces or something with her ashes in it. But somebody somewhere, whenever they got that urn, they probably busted up thinking there was some dope in there or something. I know you feel doomed now because it was nothing but my mama ashes. No. But I miss her. So I feel like her spirit is definitely with me. I brought her all the way to Tijuana and then she made it across the board and then I lost her. <laughs> I love her so much. Though. I miss my mama. Um... I'm not ready to get all that open just yet. But like I said, if you did catch me on my old videos, all my videos were sit down, talk downs, and they was deep. I mean, they was the troubling. I talked about the little one. That's why me and her are so tight. Like, when my baby was born, it was nothing but me and her in the hospital. Me, her, and the doctors. The doctor was like, is anybody coming? I'm like, mm, nope. It's just me and you. It was just me, the doctors, and the nurses. It was just me. I drove my own self to the hospital. It was just me and her. But we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk more. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, as time goes on and different things, because I'm going through a lot of healing. It's been only. It's been two years since I lost my mother, and it was drastic to me. I've always been tight with my mom. I'm the baby. And that shit turned me over. I almost died when I was mourning for my mother. Somebody laced me. 
and that was K2. I should be dead. I was in a, a like an institute twice to try to heal and cleanse from that. That shit killed me. I died. I did die and recover from all that. So right now I'm healing. But I know that through the things that I've been through and through my life and through this YouTube, because it will turn a turn for that. I know that there's at least one to two or three people that's going to be able to relate and that's going to be able to heal and that's going to be able to grow and that's going to be able to continue to go on in their lives because of my story. But I... Like I said, I'm still healing. I'm still in the healing process. So y'all give me some time because I ain't trying to like pass on no no hurt or no pain or nothing like that to nobody else. Nothing but straight healing. So let me get my healing first, and then we'll we'll be getting into some some of those talks. But I'm about to make my way back. It's time for another cup of coffee, and then I told y'all my internet so so old school. You know what? I'm. I'm seeing these feet prints look like a chicken foot. No, oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm just. Y'all see that? What the hell is it? What is in prints right though? Am I tripping or am I tripping? <laughs> okay, I think I'm tripping. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm about to enjoy the rest of this day. Um, we just pretty much probably chilling. I don't know yet. I'm gonna get some of these videos uploaded, y'all. This is like my family time right now. So y'all enjoy these upcoming summer videos it's gonna be mostly family because my little one is down here with me and tj and we just doing like a lot of little family stuff but y'all can see how family friendly it is and what to do with your kids when y'all come here okie dokie peace out people